The idea for the Bath Keeper's Secret came from a love of swimming. I come from a family of swimmers, I love the water and I'm part of a swimming group. So when I was swimming one day, I had the idea that if you could be the audience and be immersed in the pool, it would make the most beautiful, immersive experience. So at the core of the Bath Keeper's Secret is this um, idea that the water in the world has ran out and what would that do to us physically but also what would that do to our humanity. So we wanted to create this futuristic world which was entirely plausible and entirely feasible. So the game is a game in the sense that it's interactive and it's fun and it's playful but it's also a metaphor of this game of life where actually we are playing with the planet in this very moment. We had five days of R&D and we had a couple of days in the rehearsal room with the director Adam, myself and some actors and our designer Abby and our sound designer Luke and we were playing around with ideas for a few days and then we had the day at the pool and so we had lots of different ingredients to test out, underwater speakers, we had battery powered lights, we had some underwater lights, we had two mermaids, a sea creature and a choir, a load of cloaks, some crazy masks and we put all of these together and made a really magical, weird, immersive experience and being able to have the time to play to figure out what worked and what didn't and what we needed to do more of was really important. As part of the show we used a community choir who called themselves the High Seas and these were a group of people who were brought together specially for the show and they were amazing. They sung these pentatonic parts that went up and down, they could start at different times and they just took a leap of faith with us to be able to come and sing and they just made the whole experience really magical. And it was really, I could relate it to some of the uh, Asian or Eastern sort of music where it sounded very much like the call of the sea. It was really amazing to see my local pool which is talking something very passionate. I'm very passionate about this water conservation and everything and swimming in general. It's been really interesting actually working uh, on something that's really immersive and is very site specific and sort of looking at how we can uh, kind of make a design that's kind of tactile and visceral um, and but also using these like, amazing uh, community spaces, these swimming pools, um, and like allowing people to explore it and kind of get to know it in a different way. So I found working on this project, it's been really, really informative, uh, learning about kind of climate change and how that's affecting the world kind of globally now, right now, and how we can do action. I think that this project will be like really innovative in the way that it will be fun, but it will also get its point across really, really heavily and it's just been really amazing to be part of that process. We want to get the piece ready and we want to be available to take this to venues, to festivals, to communities, to towns and to cities all across the UK. We think it's really accessible, we think it's really fun and we think it's something that people all across the UK would massively, massively benefit from and we're ready to take it there. Mm -hmm.